The full self-driving beta software is out in the United States and Tesla is already testing and perfecting the software. Within the first week an update of the software was rolled out, so things are moving quickly. At the same time American authorities are closely monitoring the situation. Now what about full self-driving in Europe? Is self-driving cars science fiction for Europe or not? What regulations are actually applicable? And what's the strategy and the political willingness? What needs to happen before full self-driving will be allowed in Europe? In this video I will review the history and the future of legal measures proposed by the EU regarding the usage of autonomous vehicles. Let me know in the comments what you think about full self-driving in Europe and when you think we might see full self-driving rolled out to European customers. This is episode 14. In November 1968, the International Convention on Road Traffic designed a treaty. This treaty is mostly referred to as the Vienna Convention on Road Traffic of 1968. It was an international treaty to facilitate international road traffic and to increase road safety by establishing standard traffic rules. All EU member states signed the Vienna Convention. Article 8 of the treaty is a crucial article in the context of full self-driving. It states, a driver is always fully in control and responsible for the behavior of a vehicle in traffic. This requirement is already getting challenged by the development of technologies for collision avoidance systems and autonomous driving. The 1968 version of the Treaty of the Vienna Convention was signed at a time when people were driving cars like these. With very basic interiors and no driver support systems. As far as the treaty is concerned, much has changed too. In May 2018, the European Commission adopted a strategy paper to make Europe a world leader for fully automated and connected mobility systems. This strategy paper will ensure that EU legal and policy frameworks are ready to support the introduction of safe connected and automated mobility. At the same time it addresses societal and environmental concerns. In 2018, Directive 2007-46EC was modernized. It has become applicable since the 1st of September 2020. This new directive regulates how new vehicles should be designed and how they should operate. Already in March 2014, an amendment to the Vienna Convention of 1968 was published. This document stated that systems which influence the way vehicles are driven, but which can be overridden or switched off by the driver are in accordance with Article 8. A further amendment would be needed to permit vehicles without a driver. As of today, a legal framework dedicated to the approval of automated vehicles in the EU does not yet exist. However, to a large extent, existing legislation is already suitable for allowing automated vehicles on the European market. What will be crucial in the coming months is the availability of comparative safety data. That is, data that directly compare cars with and without autopilot, under similar conditions and circumstances, demonstrating a level of safety for autopilot that is at least as good as in cars with a human driver. With their large fleet of almost a million cars, driving an average of 1,000 miles per month, Tesla should be able to provide such data with high reliability, fairly easily. Of course, the collection of sufficient safety data on the new autopilot software, will take time. But, given the fact that it is EU's strategy, to make Europe a world leader for fully automated vehicles, and knowing a legal framework is in place, the introduction of the new FSD software in Europe could get a green light, in the not-too-distant future. No science fiction. That's it for now. Meanwhile stay safe, and stay tuned, and please click subscribe to be notified of new videos.